I'm Channing McCorston, the container guy. In this video, we are gonna show you a brand new 40 foot high cube refrigerator unit. We get a lot of requests in the comments in our videos for more information on these reefer units because a lot of people like to use them as container homes. And these brand new ones, they'd be great for that, although they're really expensive. So follow along in this video, we're gonna show you everything this new 40 foot has to offer and more horns, hopefully. <laughs> I'll start off by showing you the exterior and how these differentiate between uh, regular shipping containers and even just other refrigerated containers that are meant for cargo. So these here are specifically built to be utilized as a refrigerator in North America, or actually they're stocked all over the world by this manufacturer. And so if you are anywhere on the planet and looking for one of these, they might not be right in your inland city, but they're typically stocked at all port cities. So if you get a hold of your local container guy around your area they'll likely be able to source one of these find one sell it to you you'll just have to wait you know a week or two for them to arrange shipment to get it to you but beware they're not cheap so yeah let's get at it here one thing to note about these is they got a polyurethane uh, top coat of paint on the exterior which is super bright we had it in the sun earlier and i felt like i was cutting onions my eyeballs were watering and so uh, yeah, it really will reflect the light away from the container and make sure that the contents inside stay cool, even in more desert environments, I guess, or places colder than or warmer than Canada. But also, it's very easy to clean with that type of coating. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice exterior. It would fit well in any uh, commercial or an industrial environment. Say, if you don't have room inside your facility for additional fridge or freezer space, you can purchase one of these, put it in the back, they work great and now you've just expanded your store square footage 320 square feet so one thing that's really nice about them unfortunately we don't have the key so we can't open this door and show you how it works but it's really cool so they have uh, an access door inside what they call the butcher door so this is a uh, wider and nice and tall door if you're bringing larger objects through but this individual door here opens from the outside with the key it's lockable and you can actually close it on yourself so when you're inside the container there's a, a panic button where you can hit that and then also get out and so a lot of people ask me how do i make the container doors uh, operate you know and close and be able to open them from the inside and i haven't really quite figured that out yet on a regular set of doors and because it's difficult the lock rods are in the way a previous version of these reefers actually had the lock rod here and this mechanism was tied into the lock rod and the latch mechanism and it was very complex and also if the can wasn't sitting nice and level uh, it could jam up and, and wouldn't work that great so they've made this door wider which allows the lock rod to be clear free and clear of it and then just use more of a regular refrigerator style hardware here so that's, that's a huge bonus here. Another thing to note down low is they actually have a lip here for a ramp. So you can connect uh, an aluminum ramp or something. So you can actually drag dollies or whatever of your refrigerated goods into this container. And so that's, that's a really cool option. Uh, it's just, you know, great forethought and, and uh, it's there for you if you need it. And just also they have a little uh, a rain drip on the door. So no water uh, actually gets in there because these doors will be cold and and they can you know frost up and freeze up and so having this waist height extra long single door handle gives you tons of leverage to get this door open even if it's frozen up and, and that's what they advertise here so yeah let's uh maybe cruise along to the back side of this thing and check out the reefer and let you know the specs on that and, and how they work so as we move along this container you can see the the corrugation profile it's just very slender every 14 inches or so and so that allows the insulation value is not much thermal bridging there and this thing will be very easy uh, to cool really in any climate so that's awesome there and also just this white paint uh, it's really nice I think the steel on these is uh, stainless steel not a mild steel too so it's a painted stainless steel and this thing should last forever like it, uh, they're very you know well built well thought out well planned and uh, in my opinion worth the money so let's check out this reefer here so these plugs here this is what's meant to plug into the, the the container ships so each ship has their diesel engines and potentially cleaner engines now but uh they'll provide a whole bunch of power to run multiple containers on the ship 
and it's you know around home it's a 460 volt three phase power that you need to operate this thing they do have inverters as an optional kit here that will allow this thing to plug into different voltages of three phase and i think don't quote me on this but they might have a 120 volt or a, sorry 240 volt single phase option which would be really cool because then anybody with just regular household power could actually plug this thing if you have enough amperage so yeah, that's that's an uh, interesting thought there. They're they're really intuitive controller. Uh, you can set highs and lows so that it you know it doesn't kick in all the time, uh, or just a constant temperature. Uh, there's also the ability to uh, data log in these things so you can see you know how it reacts uh, throughout different temperatures throughout the day. And then also like especially if you're shipping goods across, you can make sure that your bananas or whatever didn't freeze or cook or you know so that has all the data ports there and it's, it's actually able to i think there's an app or something you can check it on your phone through thermal king so there's two different types of reaper units that come with these this here is the thermal thermal king unit there's also carrier units so i don't know if that's just pers personal preference but also maybe something that uh if you have a a local carrier or thermal king you know uh service tech near you or nearest you maybe <laughs> that would sway your decision on which one to go with but uh, in here, they do have a, a siren to sound an alarm if something was going on or if the reefer shut off. That's cool as well. And yeah, not sure what else. But if you are to buy one of these things as a container home, this really is unnecessary. And oftentimes people unbolt them. And so uh, there are all the stainless steel bolts here and they're actually very easy to remove. You just remove all the bolts and then there's a couple uh, lift lugs and sometimes even yeah fork pockets right here so you can just take your forklift and grab these things and carry them around so so that's nice you can always build some sort of patio door or a glass or something here uh, a lot of the structure you probably would want to keep though uh, that does you know provide the, the moment frame and, and stop the container from twisting but I'm sure you could cut into this especially if you reinforce it if you were wanting to put some sort of patio door or something on the end wall of these uh, 40 foot reefer units one thing that's interesting to point out on the side of the container here is that uh, there's damage on the bottom of the channel already and uh, I know the supplier of these things they sent me marketing images from China right at the factory and already had this damage and so it's unfortunate that potentially the equipment that they have at their site they're damaging this already and they're not utilizing a side lift or a top lift like what we have uh, and yeah I guess if you're purchasing one of these and you're moving it around your site be careful. You don't want to be handling this with a bobcat or a skid steer anywhere. Try to lift from the corner points and that's what's going to protect this container and ensure that uh, yeah, you're not wrecking the envelope before you even start using it. It's kind of difficult as a one man show here to try to operate this door without the keys, but here it is. So we have the icebreaker door. Let's not let this swing around too hard. We know that we can get out in the instance that we get locked into this thing. It's very carefully labeled. And what's really cool inside this, there's actually rubber door stops on the sides of the doors or on the hinges as well. And that stops uh, uh, your doors from swinging around and scuffing. But this here, it's got the, the butcher curtain, curtain, I guess. So the vinyl curtains that drop down. And so this is on a track and allows you to uh, have it close as long as everything's nice and level and so you can go in and out of this thing and you don't lose all your refrigeration. Ooh, it's, uh, it's nice and cool in here actually, that's crazy. So yeah, come on in. So what's intelligent is they've put uh, four inch pot light LEDs inside this thing. So they're very low profile. They don't take up much of the insulation value again, but they give you light in here. And so there's a switch for the lamps and there's also the alarm switch here at the door. Now, if we jump inside these things, you can see they got the, uh, the scuff resistant siding. So all the stainless steel interior here, and that protects it from its, from its maiden voyage. So you can see there was cargo in here. Uh, this is prior to getting delivered to the end user and it has scuffed it a little bit, but at least uh, if this was fiberglass, it potentially could have damaged it more. And now this thing's gonna show up to the customer in great condition. Uh, another thing to note, and it's optional on these uh, 40 foot reefers, and I guess they have 20s and 10s as well, but this here has the, uh, the flat floor is what they call it. So it's an aluminum floor with a very low profile uh, dimple. So there's just a tiny bit of air movement allowed in here. So if you're putting boxes directly on the floor in this low profile flooring, 
Uh, potentially, if you're trying to refrigerate, the underside of it might not stay cool and it could absorb heat from the floor up and, and melt the product, say if it's ice cream or something. So be careful if you're using this as a reefer and you have the low profile floor, you'd wanna put your product on top of pallets or something to allow the air to circulate. It typically likes to blow all the way along the roof and then return on the floor underneath the pallets. And that's why the, the higher T-slot floor is utilized on, on any uh, reefer that's meant for for moving cargo but this is a really nice floor when you're wanting to convert this into a modular structure a container based structure so uh, if you're doing a home or an office or whatever you can just operate right on this floor it's amazing or if you're really fussy uh, yeah just put some plywood or something right over top and, and then go back to uh, traditional uh, flooring methods and, and products. So yeah, that, that's cool. Another thing to note on these is they have uh, drains on the four corners. So if this thing's not sitting level and it doesn't matter which way it's sloping towards, if water was to build up and drain, it will go out the four corners, which is another intelligent thing that they've added. And it's, it's uh, those aren't in regular refrigerated 40 foot containers. And then they've also even just the lashing points, put them on the walls uh just for uh regular cargo sometimes people use this just just to get these to north america where they're needed it doesn't necessarily even ship uh refrigerated goods they might just throw anything cardboard box whatever product regular product inside these just just to get them to the end user so but if you are using it another thing to notice is up top here uh they always say no cargo above this level and so that's that's important because that's where the, the cold air, uh, the supply, it, it runs along the roof. And then, like I said, it returns on the floor, typically through the T-slot floor or under the pallets. So uh, yeah, let's jump to the back here and just see uh, how this all turns out. So they have like cabinets, so to speak, on both sides of the bulkhead at the back of this thing. And uh, this here, you can see where like, there's a bunch of electrical connections where you can download all the data from its trip across the ocean. Another just nice little storage space. And I'm not sure what this, is that an air deflector or something maybe to control the amount of return? Not 100% certain, but here, if you can see, that's the drain there. And there's one on all the four corners. And so uh, the grate up at the top here, that's the supply. So that tries to evenly distribute the air as it exit the reefer unit. But again, I guess if this was to come off, your hole is gonna be pretty much that big through here. Nice place for a chunk of glass or uh, you know, if you can continue to utilize this thing as your heater and cooler, but they're too loud. You, you can't actually utilize them in, in like an office setting or a home setting because yeah, it's, that thing kicks on and I mean, it'll freeze you for one thing, but also it's not an occupancy uh, style heater. It's just, it's just, yeah, the fans, way too many decibels on those things. So yeah, I don't know what else to, to show you guys on these. Maybe talk a little bit about the, the envelope. Typically they're, uh, well, 53s and stuff, they're two inches of foam on the walls and three inches of foam in the floor and the ceiling. I think these are closer to two and a half, three inches in the walls and the floor and ceiling. So you're getting what one would call like an R20 wall system, but this is gonna perform so much better than like a R20 wall with, with just two by four studs and fiberglass insulation in the cavity. Like that's an ideal scenario R value where this is, you're getting R20 and, and a real R20 and probably would compete to more like a I don't know, R28 or R, R40 traditional wall system. So yeah, they're great. Uh, they don't take much to heat or cool. And when they're brand new, they're beautiful, but you might have to get out your pocketbook. So anyway, we wanted to show the audience, we always get all these questions on the reefer units and, and how they're utilized in container-based structures. We do have other videos with these things uh, where we've installed a man door and we've done some fans and things like that. So you can check that out or uh, check out all of our other videos on our channel. A lot of the components that we design for corrugated containers work great in reefers. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please help us out. Give it a like, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.